Good morning, welcome back to my channel, how are we doing? So today I thought it would take you through like a day of all my supplements, what I take, when I take them, why I take them. Because although I do it a lot on my Instagram, if you don't follow me, I'll pop it up here, Lottie and Islam. Um, I thought I'd be doing like a YouTube video on it because lots of you have actually requested it. So I am having a rest day today because my body just needs a rest. I can just feel it. I'm actually due on my cycle. It's a day late, but I just feel like heavy round here and around my back so taking a day off and I thought I'd film a YouTube why not why well, I've got loads of other things to do but it's fine let's take back to the beginning if I was going to go for my workout I would always have a pre-workout meal I eat every single time before I train without fail and it's always the same bowl which is a mixture of oats nuts seeds and then I literally have like 10 grams of protein powder. So that is where my first supplement comes from is protein powder. And I always have without foul. So in my pre-workout meal, the flavor for the protein will always be salted caramel mocha. Because I train at 6 a.m., I don't have any caffeine. I may sometimes have a pre-workout from ESN, which is called the Booster Tea, but this gives you like a coffee kind of fix but it's got no caffeine in it but it gives you that flavor so i literally have 10 grams of this and i do have the vegan range only because my stomach can't really digest whey they do literally 27 flavors of designer whey and they're all so good but i just can't have them because my stomach's never agreed with whey protein i've always had vegan i already had my breakfast bowls this morning because it is currently 10 o'clock i dropped hercules off at the childminders and i basically split my breakfast in half now i do this on training days and on rest days the bowls are exactly the same i just split them in half so if you have seen my youtube before you've followed me for a long time on instagram you will know that i used to make this massive big bowl of oats with berries cream on top and everything like that so basically what i was doing was I just found I was getting post-exercise induced hypoglycemia. Now, post-exercise induced hypoglycemia is where your body can't like stabilize itself after exercise. So basically, I wore a glucose patch for six weeks. I wore three patches because they last two weeks. This is not sponsored, by the way. And I could see my body was like getting huge spikes after food, which is normal to get a spike after you eat, but it's the dip I was getting after I had eaten. So it was literally going like this throughout the day. My body was continuously trying to play catch up and just stabilize itself, but it couldn't. So I would bend down, stand up, and I'd feel all dizzy. Basically, I wasn't getting enough calories in. Although I was eating 2,800, it wasn't enough for me. So my food has now been increased daily by 400 calories so i've gone from 2800 to 3200 and i've gained one kilogram in two months so you can just see that my body wasn't getting enough food and now that it is my body composition composition has changed um i've gained muscle mass i've lost a little bit of body fat um, but my weight's gone up. So it's really important you do play around with your food sometimes because you never know. Lots of you always ask, I thought I'd put this on my YouTube because the thing with putting things on Instagram, it always comes across like it's sponsored and it's really not. I literally bought these on Amazon. They're not cheap, but it, I would invest in anything that supports my health or helps my fitness and my performance. Freestyle Libri 2 and it's called by Abbott. I don't know if you can see that. So I wore three of these. And um, the reason why I've got this one on, is, this one is because I'm gonna wear it next week just to see where my body is at and see if it's actually better. Um, but I did wear one for like four days last week, but I knocked it in the shower and it fell off. But I could see within those four days, my body was, and the response to food was so much better. Basically, what I have done with my diet is I have reduced my carbohydrate intake a tiny bit and increased my fats a hell of a lot. Now, I still eat over 230 grams of carbohydrates, so I'm not... I'm not following a keto diet or anything like that. I still have carbohydrates. I just have them around my training window, but I have incorporated a lot more fats into my diet. As you can tell, if my calories have gone up by 400 calories, majority of that is through fats. So it will be healthy nuts and seeds, avocado, um, olive oil, 
things like that. So yes, that is where my diet is currently at. That is why I split my two oat bowls in half. If I have a huge bowl of oats in one go, I get a huge spike and then a huge dip. As training, I will have the majority of my protein around my training window to help with recovery, building muscle, and it's best time to have it. So in my oat bowls, I will have a scoop of protein each. So I have 10 grams in my pre-workout, and then in my post-workout bowls, I will have a scoop of protein in each one. And that is the beginning of my supplements for the day. I will add one scoop of L-glutamine. This is amazing for recovery, it's an amino acid, it's great for muscle growth. All you need is one scoop. So I'll have that in bowl one. And then I will have my creatine as well. So depending on whether I feel like cherry or plain, I will either put the plain creatine in the oat bowl um, and just mix it all in. Lots of questions like, when's it best to take creatine? When should you take creatine? So it is actually most optimal to take creatine post-workout with um, carbohydrates. It doesn't really matter when you take it, just as long as you are consistent with it. But it's most optimal to take it post-workout, and that's when I take mine. I'm so low on creatine. Look at that, that is not good. I put an order in yesterday, but I thought I would dry skip it with you because people can be like, oh, I take this, I take that, and not show you that they take it. So I'm gonna take it with you. Mm. Done. I think that's literally my creatine done and dusted. What am I gonna do? I'm actually, I probably will have to take the daily, which has got creatine, L-glutamine, and collagen in it until my actual creatine comes. That literally is my morning supplements. Creatine, L-glutamine, electrolytes, and protein powder. Keep it really, really simple, and that's what I go with. But my two favorite flavors, blueberry muffin, salted caramel mocha. They have just restocked on the website. I know that. Okay, so what I thought I would do is just talk you through the vitamins I have. So the vitamins that I have are omega-3, which are these ones here. I take three of these a day. I then have Q10 Pro, which is this one. I have Ashwa Pro, and I take magnesium as well. So they are all the tablets that I do take. I normally take my vitamins before I go to bed. It's just my hab my habits and what I do. I've lost that D3K2 now because it was in a separate one. Basically, the reason why I keep the D3K2s separate is because you only need to take one tablet every three days. So one tablet lasts you every three days, meaning that the tub lasts you literally an entire year. Omega-3 is great for cardiovascular health. It's great for your hair, your skin. Um, it really helped with my scalp actually. I suffered with psoriasis in my scalp last year and I found that dairy was causing it, but also omega-3 really helped me, you know, with my skin. So that's why I'm really religious with taking omega-3. You can eat fish all day, but you'll never get the right amount of dosage from omega-3 that you need. So it's really good to supplement with it. So that's why I do, even though I literally follow a pescatarian diet. Ashwood Pro is great for reducing anxiety, stress. It helps you get better sleep at night. Um, I did try and, try and test it and having it before the day to see if it you know, reduced my anxiety when I have a busy day and a long day ahead, but I didn't actually find a difference. I found that it benefited me more taking it before I went to bed because it helped me get in a longer and deeper sleep. Because sometimes I would lay in bed and I'd lay on the pillow and I think, my mind would go round and round in circles where I've got lots of things to do. And I just found that I got a better sleep when I took it before bed. Q10 Pro. Now, this is a really, really good supplement for females, especially females who do sports. Um, it's great for balancing out your hormones correctly. It's great for muscle mass. It's great for recovery. It has so many benefits in it. Um, the ESN website always details, you know, and documents all the reasons why these supplements are really good to take. But Q10 Pro, I've taken this for years. Even when I was um, trying to conceive with Hercules, I took Q10 Pro. 
Magnesium. Magnesium is insane. And people who are very sporty and athletic actually really lack magnesium. So it's really important that if you are into your sport, your fitness, your training, that you do take magnesium. Again, it's going to help with recovery. It helps with muscle growth. Majority of these tablets I take help with performance and muscle growth because they are my two goals. And that is the reason why I do take them. Yeah. Oh, D3K2. So we never get enough sun in the UK. Okay, sad times, I know, but you can never get enough vitamin D. So that is why I supplement with vitamin D. It also helps with like absorption of calcium. I don't have dairy, so it's really important for me to have a calcium supplement. I have unsweetened almond milk. I don't really eat cheese or anything like that. So it's really important that I do get a calcium intake for, you know, my bone density and things like that. So remember that these supplements and vitamins are what I choose that works for me and my body and my goals and my performance. But I just wanted to give you a bit of an insight as to why I take these and what they can do if you're thinking or confused as to why. Oh, wait, I missed one out. Biotic Pro. Everyone should be taking a probiotic for gut health. If you're not taking one, you really need to. Or it's not in here. Hmm, that's a bit worrying. Need to put it in there. So that's the other one that I do take. I don't really actually take that much more, if I'm honest with you. So this may be a bit of a short video, but I'm trying to think what else I take. I don't think there is anything else. <laughs> the supplements that I do have every now and then is collagen, because collagen is great for hair, skin, now joints. If you're someone that trains a lot like me, I do actually find my joints tend to suffer a lot more than my actual muscles. So of course I have cherry flavor because everything in here and cherry flavor is banging. But that's pretty much it. I keep it really simple, really basic. I have their protein bars, their designer protein bars, which are insane. The fudge brownie is the nuts. I don't have any like syrups, any um, vitamin drops or anything like that because I just, they just don't, like, I have these in the cupboard because they sent me them. They're like ultra sauces. They've got the 10 calories, basically. But I eat a lot of food. 10 calories is not going to give... To me, it's just too much volume. So I just won't have these sauces. Like, I might if I want to have a bit of flavour. But I prefer, like, whole foods. I prefer putting just, like, olive oil and stuff on my food. Is this a supplement? Peanut butter. I mean, ESN do a really nice peanut butter. So. These, they're basically like vitamin syrups, but I don't touch them. I give them to my mum because my mum is terrible at drinking water. If you are someone who's terrible at drinking fluids and having water because you just don't like the water, then these will probably be really good for you. But I am really good at drinking water. I love fresh, clean water. I'm not going to drink dirty water. Yeah, these are good for people that just don't drink enough. I always get questions, you know, around what supplements I take, when I take them, why I take them. And I quickly wrapped it up really. i in another YouTube very, very soon. I think I want to do one with like a training session and just kind of talk about what trainers I'm using at the moment because I've actually switched my trainers. Should we do that now? Should we, should we do some trainers now? Let's do it now. Okay, so trainers. Sorry, this is later on in the day because I needed some lunch, I had to walk the dog, etc. I have always been a night girl. Well, I always thought I was a night girl, always worn night Metcons, but I was finding it frustrating when I would have like running in my AMRAP and my EMOMs and then I could never actually do it. So I'd go on the ski erg or the rowing machine because you just can't run in Metcons. They're too heavy, they're too flat. It's just not good for your joints. These are gorgeous. I had a black pair, a pink pair and a blue pair from Rad, but I haven't had a white pair. So like a pair that goes with everything you wear, but they are bringing out this gorgeous color. Gold on them, how sexy they are. Look how sexy this shoe is. So these actually release tomorrow and I wore them for turf. I wear them for functional training. I train in them. I don't train in any other shoe. This is all I training. That, that is all I training. Just rads. I've converted. I never thought I would say that, but I'm actually a converted person. I want to show you their runners though, because I ran in them on Sunday and I did find them really comfortable. They're just nice because they've got like a spongy kind of like sole bit. And I would wear these for high rocks. 100% I would wear these for high rocks. I ran in them, I did some sled, sled push and pull in them. So I wanted to test them and do like compromised training to see 
how they would feel on my feet and they actually felt really nice. So this again is the same colorway, but it's the running trainer. And these are gonna be my new high rock shoes. My new high rock shoes. With high rocks, I'm like, what shoe do I wear? I don't get on with like the running shoes that you see everyone else wear. I just don't, but I wore these in training and they're my new shoes. So yeah, I just wanted to update you on those. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there because I've taken all my supplements. I've told you everything I have. I've introduced you to my new shoes and trainers that I absolutely love. And yeah, I never thought I would convert, but converted clearly. So remember to like, subscribe. Please let me know what else you want to see. I might do another full day of eating like on a training day because we haven't done that before. And like make all the meals with you. But have a great day and I will catch you soon.